again with Vela Homes. Uh, my website is anilsalzenje.com so this is another property actually i'm talking about that's in the auction tomorrow you know a lot of my friends they keep asking me how to find foreclosure properties and what to do so this is a property 1309 jupiter court north Bengal. okay so this is a judgment like that's the money which the some uh, the person who technically bought it owes to the bank okay so now I'm trying to find if it's really worth it. This is the name of the person who actually had defaulted AK Murli. So I using my tools. This is a website where I found the property for auction, Middlesex, okay? Middlesex County Auction website. So now I go to this website, say, I mean media, I put my property in, this is a property. So now it's giving me the balance on this property. They have a negative equity, okay? That's the balance. <laughs> So this property as I put on my system so it shows me you know location and then the minus equity that's okay that's not of much concern the main concern which I have right now which I'm looking at you know I, I was like that's the reason basically I thought of making a video look at the taxes the taxes gone up like from 10 to 14 to 15 that's a, and another thing is look at the history of this property okay look at so So this property was bought by someone for 476 Forest Park, Park at Renaissance. From the, this company, they built it new. <clears throat> now they tried to rent it for 2550. They couldn't rent it. So that shows me that after 2006 when the market crashed, they were trying to rent it out to get the at least the mortgage payment done. But they couldn't do it. So they ulti ultimately what happened? They ended up doing foreclosure. So in 2009, it foreclosed. So now, since 2009 to 2010, this new gentleman bought it for 455 in a new MLS, right? So someone flipped in between this time. I don't have a number here, like how much it sold for in auction, but this is what happened. So 2010, they bought it for 455, and then they tried to sell it in 2019 after 10 years for 469. How much is equity? Hardly anything. But whatever principal they paid, and then they tried to rent it again, 2600, but they couldn't do it. 2600, so then they made a listing. The listing expired in August 19, 2019. Now this property is in a foreclosure. So what this shows, so technically what you are learning from this experiment, so anytime you are buying anything, you know, there is a book called Location, Location, Location. This is a nice location. I'm not denying it. Like technically, this is a nice location. There's a like you know pool on the back side. Nice new uh, location they have built. Like a property is beautiful. Like there are pictures on the internet. But what I'm trying to tell you is, if people who are not ready to pay that much of a rent, that's what you have to consider. So when you are buying a real estate through a realtor, make sure you have to see if you as a tenant will you be willing to pay that much of a money and also at the same time you have to see ROI return like the taxes are this much correct and then all that uh, association you have an association fee you know so this much taxes plus as, uh, association fee in this one luckily it's very low $100 but till it's like $1200 plus uh, 15,000 approximately 1000 bucks per month so you are paying like uh, you know almost like Twelve, thirteen hundred dollars just on a tax bill. Okay, but that's a recovery you want to make at least if you are renting it out. So if I would be a person, you have to buy at a price. But so I think this is a monthly maintenance, monthly mortgage, and that's what they were trying to recover. They couldn't do it, and finally they end up raising a red flag and saying we don't want to buy it. So my friends, if you are looking to buy any property, you know don't get fatuated. I just look into the factor of like you know looks and the facade and the beauty. Because this property, I was just checking on MLS, like what happened? I found the property last time. This is a beautiful property, see? This is a comp this is a property, 1309, right? So this is, look at the front. So this looks beautiful, like two garage and then, uh, you know, the facade, the, the ground floor. And then there is a, like, you know, the high view, uh, like high ceiling. And then there's a beautiful kitchen, high cabinets. 
and then rooms like all that stuff it's a beautiful property so definitely in the auction tomorrow there will be a lot of bidding and then we look at the view on the back side so this definitely has a factor of infatuation means like you get to the war factor but ultimately you know god forbid if tomorrow market dips or flips you should be able to sustain the reputation of yourself at the same time so there are two factors one is you should have extra income coming or you should not always have one bucket like a bucket of job you should have extra two way income one is job second income so if to god for tomorrow something happen you should be able to sustain yourself with the second way of income or you should be willing to go let's say uber or something like this like i did that i have nothing against it but that's the more mode of you you know but now i do two things real estate and insurance business if anyone is interested i can talk about it it's actually very good money and the best part is the recurring money because real estate don't have that residual income but insurance business do have that part so that's the reason i'm more inclined towards the insurance business now because it's an insurance investment based portfolio packaging packaged into one by the companies so i'm not only helping families by how to save money how to grow money how to save, protect your family by using insurance umbrella at the same time how to get 8 to 10% secured guaranteed returns and at the same time you can option to withdraw the money so the banks had a safety but they lost the interest part growth part the stock market has a growth but they lost the safety so these two packages packaged together and then they added extra bonus of like life insurance and chronic disease protection and all that stuff so that's insurance that's a second video i'm going to talk but as of now i'm just saying if anyone is buying properties like this which are they get infatuated make sure you know you should have a factor at least in consideration that you will be able to rent it out at the same time if you can't if god forbid anything happen let's say you lose your job or something you should be able to sustain or do something to survive you know you have to go through that phase the phase of curve you know that usually happens in every 10 years if you see the history in 2000 it came then in 2008 came then in 2000 uh you know 18 uh, 2021 so we know those every 10 year there come something come like small big big but the one major fiasco come that's where a lot of people like you know uh like can't sustain the major uh, uh, this uh, pop show happened like in 2008 so okay my friend so this what basically i wanted to share about this property so this property is in auction tomorrow but i just i was feeling for the gentleman who actually owned this property and now it is foreclosed so good luck okay take care bye bye